Welcome back guys, in this video we're going to export our maps, this one will be really quick and then the next one we're going to bring everything into Unreal Engine and we'll basically be finished. So, uh, first thing I want to do is go up here to File and we're going to export our textures. Now keep in mind that we do want to change some settings here. First of all, I want to go up here to the Output Templates and choose the PBR Metallic Roughness Workflow. Now I'm not too worried about the height or the emissive values here, we can delete these out. But um, what I do want to add in is an AO channel. So if I go here to gray, I'm going to choose uh, gray and then we're going to go here, or um, sorry, we're going to go up here, drag in ambient occlusion and make this a gray channel like that. And to make this AO, we need to copy one of these values, any of them, control C and then control V and just replace the name right here with AO or something like that. And that's basically all we have to do for this part. Now we need to change from the output um, template right here, we need to change this to the default PBR uh, metallic roughness. So if we go up here, we're going to choose this one. So not the one that says from cache, but this one right here that will actually have our new maps that we added in. As you can see here under list of exports, and PNG 8 bits is fine. There's not too much left to do except to um, choose our output directory. So I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to make a new folder here. And this folder we'll just call it SP Maps, whatever you want to call it. We're going to click on Select Folder and then click on Export. This is usually a very fast process, so just go ahead and click that and then wait. Now, for this one right here about the opacity, you don't need to worry about this warning right here. Um, because it's obviously the opacity channels is not in the texture set, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, other than that, as long as everything exported successfully, it should tell you right here, we can go into Unreal Engine and bring in all these maps. So let me quickly show you what these maps look like. So here they are, you have your AO map, you have your base color, your metallic, your normal, and also your roughness map. These are the main five that we want to use at any given time. Sometimes you'll have a height map, sometimes not often, but if you use emissive materials, sometimes you'll have an emissive map if that's part of your textures. But generally, these are the five you're going to have in pretty much every game asset. So uh, that's about it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one where we're going to bring everything into Unreal Engine, the, the model, the textures, all that good stuff, and get this course wrapped up. So I'll see you there.